कॉलोनी है गरीब आदमी रहते हैं यहाँ तो एक कमरे में कभी चार भी शेयर करना पड़ता है Thirty one year old Manoj Kumar, who works as a truck driver, lives in Krishna Colony in Faridabad, the very slum where the state level chapter of the Swachh Bharat Mission was launched in 2015. Seven years of the massively publicised cleanliness and sanitation drive, but not much seems to have changed. Manoj tells us, he continues to live in the midst of the filth and squalor of an already congested locality. Colony, me, coffee, toilet, hain. कुछ नहीं भी हैं सीवर लाइन तो है नहीं वही अपना गड्ढा खोद के बनवाए हुए हैं किसी का बजट नहीं है कोई नहीं बनवा पाता है तो बाहर ही आते हैं सब ये सरकार ने लेटरिंग बनवाई हुई है इधर तो पहले भी रखी हुई थी यहाँ पे प्लास्टिक वाली जो कंपलसरी आती है बनके तो इसके लिए गड्ढा भी खोदा गया था यहाँ पर पीछे ये सारा अब कोई पानी की व्यवस्था नहीं है कोई आता नहीं है देखने कोई उखाड़ ले गए चोर वगैरह आते हैं इधर दारू वारू पीने वाले या चोर हैं जैसे भी है वो उखाड़ ले गए टंकियाँ थी टंकियाँ भी ले गए इसमें से अब यहाँ पे कोई देख लेकर आता नहीं है तो ये यूज़ करने के लायक ही नहीं है वैंडलिज्म कम्प्लीट ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ मेंटेनेंस हैव ड्रिवन रेसिडेंस टू गो बैक टू डेफिकेटिंग इन दी ओपन तो जो लोग जो हैं बाहर जाते हैं हाँ जी बाहर ही जाते हैं अब ये तो यूज़ करने लायक है नहीं आप भी देख रहे हो क्या हाल है इनका दरवाजे नहीं है कोई कहाँ बैठेगा कैसे करेगा According to the additional municipal commissioner of the municipal corporation in Faridabad it is not that the swachh bharat campaign has been a failure but poor behavior and hygiene habits of its users particularly in slum areas slum area mein humne kaafi jagah community toilet banaye hain ab usme jo community toilet mein thoda sa ek un logon ki majboori ye rehti hai ki wo acche se use nahi kar pate usko usme choriyan ho jati hain usme ek थिकनेस उनकी जो थिकी एरिया है तो उसकी वजह से जो रोक है वहाँ पे गार्बेज और सब चीजें डाल दे हम घर में यूज करते हैं तो एक बड़े अच्छे से हमारे बाथरूम को हमारे वॉशरूम को हम अच्छे से रखते हैं खुद भी साफ करते हैं तो जहाँ हम दूसरे को जाते हैं यूज करते हैं तो थोड़ा सा वैसा ही तो ऐसी ही सोच उनकी रहने की वजह से जो वहाँ पे वो मेनटेन नहीं रह पाता उस पर चोरियाँ हो जाती हैं मतलब उतार ले जाते हैं उस पर सीट को तोड़ देते हैं उसको टैप है वो ले जाते हैं तो उसमें कोई कोई आके पास विशन को तोड़ देता है हमने इसके ऊपर एक पॉलिसी भी बनाई है जिसमें हम प्राइवेट ट्रिपल पी में हम जा रहे हैं उसमें हम ये कर रहे थे हम लैंड हम प्रोवाइड करेंगे और कोई भी कॉरपोरेट कोई एन कोई आ रहे हैं हमारे पास एप्लीकेशन भी आ रहे हैं उनको हम अलाउ करें अलग अलग से जो हम उस एरिया को देख के उस पर उस पर काम करवाएंगे तो वो जो बनेंगे उसमें एक उनकी अच्छी केयर भी होगी और अच्छा काम भी होगा साफ सुथरे भी रहेंगे With no sewage lines or any semblance of solid waste management, fecal and sewage waste inevitably finds its way into the ponds and water bodies around the colony. The water from the taps here is unfit for consumption, Manoj tells us. and the levels of contamination have been rendering residents especially children frequently unwell mera mera sa to 90% hai pani ki problem to pani to sab bahar koi 100% colony wale bahar se khareed ke peete hain pani yahan ka peene layak hai hi nahi niche se pani nikalta hai usme mitti aati hai koi pani kha rahi hai bilkul namak ki tarah hai to wo kha liye lighting wagaira kapde wagaira dhone wagaira mein kaam aata hai bas पीने के लिए हर किसी को बाहर से खरीदना होता छोटे वाले लड़के को दस्त हो गए थे भी कोई पानी की प्रॉब्लम से यहाँ का पानी ऐसा है कोई बच्चों में पेट दर्द है दस्त लग जाते हैं आज के टाइम में गर्मी पड़ रही है पानी से यही समस्या है टिल रिसेंटली इंडिया हैड बीन डेजिग्नेटेड द ओपन डेफिकेशन कैपिटल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड A title the government has been determined to change through the Swachh Bharat Mission. Since its launch, over 100 million toilets have reportedly been constructed, but the efficacy has been under serious question. Talk about sanitation, not just toilets, or not just constructing. Them. Working with the Centre for Science and Environment, Swati Bhatia has been looking closely at the problem of open defecation in the country. 
designing is not an issue here the issue here is maintenance operation and maintenance it is simple logic if you do not clean toilets in your house and if you keep urinating it will start sinking like because it has urea and nitrogen it starts degrading and cause smell so that is why i was talking about uh, looking into decentralized technologies or decentralized treatment options because maintenance is easy we have to look at the entire value chain where we talk about correcting connect uh, designing the proper containment systems as per the design st uh, specifications of cpho bis standards is standards collecting them properly so that we can you know uh, eradicate manual scavenging we have to treat them properly with you know low maintenance systems and then we have to dispose them properly because their disposal is again an issue the ramifications of improper fecal sludge management when it is either burned or discharged directly into the environment are enormous because it ends up contaminating the groundwater in the region every one truck of fecal sludge emptied into the open is equivalent to 5000 people defecating in open at 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 time so uh, basically when we dump this uh, we dump this fecal sludge untreated into the water bodies it uh, because of it has high uh, bod uh, it has high pathogenic content it uh, you know pollutes our water bodies it makes it unfit for drinking as well as uh, you know uh, there's algal growth it actually destroys our water body so as per a recent study by water aid roughly 80% of our water bodies are uh, already uh, non consumable because of the op because of open dumping of the sewage in the in this uh, in these water bodies शहरों में दिक्कत ये होती है ना कि जब झुग्गी झोपड़ी बसती है और ऐसी कॉलोनियाँ बसती हैं तो छोटे छोटे कमरों में बहुत लोग रहते हैं एक एक कमरे में आठ से दस लोग रहते हैं और जिसकी वजह से उनको घर में टॉयलेट बनाने की जगह तो मिलती नहीं उनका क्या होता है कि उन्हें ऐसी ही जगह चाहिए होती है जहाँ पर एक पब्लिक टॉयलेट हो सार्वजनिक शौचालय हो Mayank Midha has been trying to address the issue of sanitation for slum communities, public areas and villages since 2014. that is the main issue uh, where uh, the bi the wherever there is there are no sewers the fecal waste and the sewage is basically just drained out in the open like we see here uh, this uh, filth all around and it is you know it is uh, spreading a lot of diseases as well so unsafe practices a lot of diarrheal diseases it impacts uh, uh, children uh, a lot and uh, so that is where you know we we have been uh, able to use biodigesters very safely where the whole fecal waste is treated in a decentralized manner and converted to a organic fertilizer Mayank's tech startup Garf Toilets is an effort towards providing public toilet users a smarter cleaner functional toilet system Garf essentially when we built it uh, we wanted uh, to build a toilet that could be produced out of factory so we uh, used raw materials like prefabricated steel that could uh, you know last a lifetime and it's easy to clean as well and also uh, we what we did was that we integrated the toilet hardware with a lot of uh, new age technology infrastructure like uh, internet of things sensors and rfid sensors um to make the toilet uh, an automated toilet so uh, so essentially what we were trying to do was to um uh, trigger the flushing as well as the cleaning of toilet uh, in a sensor based uh, manner so what happened there was that uh, we were not de really depending on a user to either flush the toilet and e even the cleaning staff to come in and clean the toilet so the toilet was managing all by itself so it's self cleaning and self flushing ye patte acha model hai humne hamare town mein do jagah sector 7 aur pallavgarh wahan pe humne ye install kiye hain taraf toilet karke jo hai unhone hamare sath ye kaam kiya hai dusri ek achhi baat ye hai ki humne ye kaam csr mein kiya hai hamara municipal corporation ka koi paisa is pe hamara kharch nahi hua ye bhi achhi baat hai is pe pani kam use hota hai saaf rehte hain The lack of clean well managed toilets is not an issue plaguing urban slums alone. It continues to be a very real problem for people on the roads as well.
At Kashmiri Gate, one of the busiest parts of the capital where the stench from public urinals meets you across miles, Mayank takes us through a smart sanitation centre he has built in partnership with the Delhi Metro Rail Corporation, a model he plans to replicate across the country, with separate facilities for women, transgenders and the disabled. So if we have to check uh, the real-time information of this toilet, so we, we would just have to open our app and uh, we check uh, as to how many people have come in and used the toilet. So in the male washroom we can see that a total count of 81 has been there, out of which 39 have used the toilet and others might have used the urinals. For the female washroom uh, we, we are tracking as number as 155 uh, since the day has started. The air quality as we see is uh, being uh, considered as good. If the air quality is coming as uh, bad or worse, then what we can do is to check whether when this uh, cleaning was done. So we can you know, counter it with the housekeeping staff to check as to you know, uh, when the overall cleaning of the toilet was done as such. As of today, Mayank confirms more than 2,100 Garv toilets have been installed at 262 locations across 12 states of India, catering to 2,30,000 users across low-income communities, many of them slum residents. These toilets have also been installed in schools where 30 to 40,000 school children from marginalized communities use them. While the toilets in schools are CSR funded and free to use, at locations like Kashmiri Gate, the charge is 5 rupees. Yes, I use it for 2-3 times a week. Because it is clean and there is no problem here. And there is also safety here. And in Kashmiri Gate, there is no lady's toilet in Kashmiri Gate. So everyone has to come here, so I have to come here. I have come here many times. मैं आता रहता हूँ मैं यहाँ पर डेट करनी है मैं आना जाना यही रहता हूँ अच्छा कब से आ रहे हैं आप यहाँ हो गया मेरे को कभी वन ईयर इस यहाँ की साफ सफाई बढ़िया है साफ सफाई की वजह से मैं यहाँ से आता हूँ तो निकलता रहता हूँ तो फ्रेश हो जाता हूँ यहीं जानते हो आप सरकारी टॉयलेट कैसे होते हैं The usage of recycled water for flushing in these toilets has reportedly helped recycle 60,000 liters of water daily, while the IoT technology keeps check on the amount to avoid wastage. The fecal sludge is treated on site at digester tanks into liquid fertilizer. And in areas where grid connectivity is scarce, these toilets are solar powered, helping save about 850 kilograms of carbon emissions per day. In terms of the financial viability, yes, uh, wherever we are creating our smart sanitation centres, we ensure that uh, there are uh, enough revenues being generated by various services that we provide. Like I mentioned, people can opt for all the water sanitation hygiene services that they want to avail. Uh, it's, it's a subscription model where uh, the families could subscribe to the centre and they can use all these services. India still has a long way to go before we can call it open defecation free. But perhaps decentralizing efforts in sanitation to tackle the problem at scale might be a step in the right direction.